Hi there, my name is Fabiana and I'm from YData. Welcome to YData Fabric. Today I bring you the topic of data synthesis. I'm so excited, so let me show you around. Our synthesizers are both available through the UI, but as well as SDK, so through code. Uh, today I'll be showing you the flow uh, through the UI. To create a synthesizer, you can very easily just select the data source. You can have one already existing, or you can create a new one and connect to a new data storage if you don't have any. Select the data source. For each and every process of data synthesis, I always recommend to double check your data inputs. This is very important if you want to optimize the results of your synthetic data generation, depending, of course, on your downstream application. You might want to optimize your utility, fidelity, and or uh, privacy, so always double check your data types and variable types. Finally, I want to double check as well my uh, last variables. I know they are highly correlated, this two, because I've seen our automated data profiling. And now I'm, uh, I want to select as well a target column because I know this is a data set for a classification problem, and I know that churn value is my target. This will provide me uh, a lot more insights when validating the utility of the synthetic data generated. Next, I just need to give it a name. And I'm good to go. My synthesizer training can take a few minutes to hours. It depends on the volume of your data. But of course, I have one here already created with all the metrics already computed for the quality of my synthesizer. We do provide uh, an extensive uh, quality report in PDF format, so you can uh, share it inside of your organization. And inside of this um, report, we do always evaluate fidelity, utility, and privacy. All the, the pillars or the main scores include several different metrics, so we can detail very easily uh, uh, the qualities and the look and feel of your data from mutual information, which is multivariate, to other metrics such as categorical coverage, rent coverage, or even missing values coverage. And some privacy scores so you can be sure in case you have a data sharing use case that you can freely share your synthetic data. But this demo uh, did not end it without showing one of my favorite uh, features, which is the ability to generate as many synthetic data records as I want. I have already a few here, but of course I want to generate more. So let me show you and add here some values. As you can see, the process is running. I have all the history of whom have uh, generated synthetic samples and when and how many. And for each and every synthetic sample, I get a comparison report very extensive about the fidelity of my generated data of my synthetic sample, both in a univariate perspective with uh, general statistics, but also in a multivariate perspective with the correlations. Each and every synthesizer can also be used through an API, and you can check your API docs uh, in our API Docs tab. I hope you have enjoyed, and thank you.